Hey everyone, I'm Jesse from Direction Reviews, and this is a big haul of stuff. I haven't done a haul video for I don't even know how long now. So, um, one thing I keep forgetting to show, uh, which Mercy just reminded me to, uh, I saw on Twitter she was posting uh, uh, people to uh, asking people to uh, post uh, pictures of whatever cereal they had. I was like, oh, I keep forgetting to show these. Uh, these uh, Star Wars cereals uh, that I got uh, weeks ago. Well, I got one of, or no, I got two of each. Um, so four boxes. So I got two Kylo Ren's and two uh, BB-8's. Pretty good stuff. Marshmallows and uh, the cereal itself tastes kind of like a like a lighter, crispier version of uh, uh, Captain Crunch, sort of a little bit. Anyways, and some pops. Uh, I got some more pops uh, recently. I got uh, Alex the Large. Uh, I was really looking forward to getting this Clockwork Orange. Uh, really, really cool. Very glad to have this one. So cool. Nice detail too. <laughs> and the three Scott Pilgrim ones that are out so far. There we got Scott with his cup and his uh, little doodle of uh, Ramona. And Ramona Flowers, of course. And Knives Chow. Very, very cool. And there's going to be a few more. That's all that's available right now. Um, but there's another one of Scott with his base. And uh, Kim and Steven. So. Pretty cool. I will definitely be getting the entire set of that. And now comics. And no, this is not all of it. Uh, we got quite a bit. Uh, trying out a lot of stuff, a lot of rebirth stuff. And um, this is probably at least three weeks worth because it's been a while since I did a comic haul. All right. So Green Lantern uh, six. That's not the newest one. The newest one is in here somewhere. Um, still liking that. Uh, Detective nine forty. Deathstroke 2, Superwoman, uh, I went back to uh, another store, a comic book shop, um, and uh, picked up uh, Superwoman, and uh, I got these all mixed up. Anyway, that was one that I picked up, I decided to try. Uh, I got some pretty good reviews and shit, and I, I liked it. Uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws 2, that's still really good too, like that. Doom Patrol, this is one of the covers that I got. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll read this again, but it didn't really do much for me. Um, I'm not familiar with Doom Patrol either, um, so I didn't really even know what to expect, but I don't know. Uh, Suicide Squad 2. Uh, I'm dropping that. That's the last one that I got. It was okay, but I mean really Harley Quinn is the only reason I've been picking it up. Uh, I kind of like Deadshot. Not really much else. Uh, new Superman, number one. This was better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> uh, I've ended up trying out all the super books, and I'm getting all of them for at least the time being. Um, yeah, that was actually pretty decent. And there's the other cover. And issue two. And three. And I'm really looking forward to the fourth one. This one is just getting... Um, not like tons better with each issue, but a little better, a little better, a little better. Um, I really like this cover too, it's pretty cool. And Superwoman number one, the other cover. And Superwoman number two. Yeah, that's a really cool. Yeah, Terry Dodson, awesome. Uh, Action Comics 960, I had dropped this after... I don't remember the third one. I don't remember what the issue number was. Uh, oh, I think it was. I think it was 959 actually. I think so. Yeah, uh, but I decided to pick up the ones that came out since then, and uh, I, I'm getting it. Uh, it's actually pretty good. What was that? 961, 962, 963. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, dog uh, section eight six pack and dog welder issue number two. 
Um, this is pretty cool. Um, I'm really enjoying this uh, this mini series. Deathstroke number two. Um, Action Comics 964. That's the newest one. Pretty awesome cover too. I like that. Um, Detective Comics 941. Night of the Monster Men Part Three. I didn't get one and two because I don't want to do all this crossover shit with um, uh, titles I'm not carry uh, uh, collecting. Uh, so I did not really like this very much because it's part three of four, I think. Um, the first two parts were in, I think it was Batman and Nightwing. Don't care. So that's strike one for a detective, for me anyway. Uh, Teen Titans, number one. I ended up liking this more than I thought I would. I almost didn't buy it. It was like, oh, so much of the DC Rebirth stuff has been so good. Um, so I decided to give it a go. I'm not like super familiar with Teen Titans. Um, but yeah, I actually quite enjoyed this. It was a surprise. Lady Mechanica, number one of whatever it is, the new series. That's a pretty awesome cover. Yeah, the the uh, the stories in these like they're pretty good, but I mean I buy them for the artwork. I mean the artwork is just it's pretty awesome. <laughs> Deathstroke number three, uh, really enjoying this series. It's really good. Uh, oh, upside down, sort of. Okay. Uh, Titans number three. This is another series that um, I wasn't expecting to really like that much, and I went back. Um, and got the ones that I didn't I, I didn't pick up even the rebirth special originally. Um, I've got it in one of my piles here. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I'm enjoying that too. ROM issue number three. Uh, this is really, really cool. Um, I never read the original ROM, but uh, I'm enjoying uh, this new version. Uh, Raven, uh, part of the Team Titans. This is a mini series, one of Six? One of six. Um, not being familiar with Teen Titans, they're not familiar with Raven either. Um, but uh, I enjoyed this. Uh, I am going to get the second issue. Uh, it's a, it's a mini series, so um, I will probably end up getting all six. Uh, I like the artwork. The character and the story seem pretty cool so far. So, uh, Superman, issue number seven. Uh, Trinity, number one. I like Francis Manipal. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce his name. Um, I met him, I got his autograph and my picture taken with him a couple years ago. Really cool guy. Um, I will probably give issue number two a go. Um, this was, it, it's very well written, the artwork's awesome, uh, just not really very much happens. Um, so we'll see. I'll give issue number two a go and uh, I'll, I'll see from there, I'll decide from there. Uh, Harley Quinn, issue four. And issue four. Oh yeah, this one was uh, drawn by um, Joseph Michael Linzer. Um, so that, that was really nice. <coughs> nice artwork inside. Uh, Punisher, number five. I Hate Furryland, both covers this time. Uh, nine, nine, I didn't read this yet. I'm actually a little behind on that series. But the DC Rebirth stuff, I've stayed up to date on. I'm all caught up with, you know, all the stuff that I'm reading. The Max Maxima is 35, final issue. Empress, 6. I think there's only one more to go on this. I think it's 7 issues, I think. Uh, Blue Beetle, issue number 1. <coughs> yeah, um, nah. <laughs> it was okay. But uh, I actually thought the Rebirth special before this was a little better than this. Um, so that's it. Postal 15 uh, continues to be one of my favorite series. Love it. Extraordinary X-Men Annual Number 1. I got this because, yes, that's right, Scotty Young. Uh, I will probably read it, but I have not yet. Uh, Peeper Girls Issue 9. Still really liking this. And Green Lanterns issue seven. This kind of was. This kind of. I won't. I won't say. So, yeah. You know what? It did. It kind of sucked. It's mostly just a lot of um, Simon Baz whining about his mom. Um, yeah. 
Strike one against Green Lanterns. That was a pretty boring issue, I gotta say. <clears throat> Very disappointing. Okay, so I don't pick up much new indie books anymore, uh, but I did pick up uh, two covers for Seven to Eternity. I got this one and this one. Uh, I got this the, the day after, actually. I got this on a Thursday because I got really, really good reviews. So I went back to the shop to see if there were any left, and there were. So I got these, and I read it, and I did think it was pretty good. Um, love the artwork, um, but I'm not buying issue two. If I do continue the story, it'll be in trade or digital. I bought way too many um, indie series, limited series that started off pretty good, and then just went downhill and really disappointed me and I stopped collecting them, so um, I don't mind buying the first issue just to try it out, but if I decide to finish it, uh, it will be in trade or digital. Uh, issue 6 of 6 of Harley's Gang of Harleys. Spider-Gwen, issue 12. I didn't read that yet. Uh, Silk, issue 12. I did read this, I think. I think I did. <clears throat> Gwenpool, 6. Moon Knight, six. And that's pretty much all the Marvel I'm collecting right now. <laughs> those, uh, that, yeah, that, those, and uh, Punisher, that's it. Oh, Superman 50. So since I started getting into um, the Superman books, the, the new ones, um, I'm slowly trying to collect the last, um, whatever is it, the, the last stage of Superman, or whatever it is, that arc, um, the crossover. Um, I have some of them, I don't have all of them. I'm missing uh, the Batman Superman issues, whatever those are. Um, but, yeah. Uh, Batman number one, that's the free Batman uh, Batman Day issue. Uh, oh yeah, here's one. Superman Wonder Woman 28, that's part of that uh, last days of Superman. And Superman 51. 52, that's what, oh, Final Days of Superman. I think that's all I have of that, so I'm missing a few. Um, Two Sky Squad number two, other cover, Doom Patrol. That's the one with the, the peel, I don't, I, I still haven't looked up what is, what is under there yet. I haven't peeled it myself. Um, obviously I can probably just look at it online. I keep forgetting to do that. Um, Prometheus. Four of four. Harley Quinn, three. Zombie Tramp, 26. I've been collecting this series in trade. Uh, I didn't have any of the single issues, and I was at the comic book shop. Uh, the original location said another one's farther away from here. Um, and, and they had, uh, and I had the, the, these uh, you know, varying covers, or adult covers, or whatever you want to call them. And I didn't have any, so I picked one up. Why not? Pretty cool. Oh, this was another one. Uh, yeah, they had the new issue of Vamp Blade, another series from that publisher that I hadn't tried before. Um, but that was in, like, in the middle of a story arc. I think that's the beginning of a new one for the zombie trap. Yeah, it is. Um, <clears throat> so I went into their back issue section. I found Vamp Blade issue one. A few covers. I picked the, this one. I like that one the most. I haven't read it yet, though, but... Uh, Looks like the same kind of thing, like kind of goofy, you know. Um, Harley Quinn 3, Supergirl, that's the sketch cover, very, uh, but uh, has the regular cover underneath it. And that's the variant. Really liking Supergirl. It's pretty different from the New 52 one, which I liked a lot. I really liked the New 52 Supergirl, it's really good. Uh, Titans issue two, Titans number one, the second printing of the Rebirth special, Superman five, four, three, two, is that it? Oh, number one. Oh yeah, and I picked up uh, this number one of Teen Titans from the New 52. This is the second number one from the New 52, when they weren't putting New 52 at the top anymore. Um, 
And I remember, yeah, I went to the, to the, to the back juice section, um, just looking around because I was, you know, getting into, or seeing if I could get into Titans, Teen Titans, whatever, and I found this one. It was like four bucks. Yeah, a really nice cover. I remember a lot of people um, showing this off when it came out, and I, I didn't buy it because I wasn't really into it, but it's like, eh, I'll get it. Why not? It's a cool cover. And lastly, we got previews. Uh, that's some kind of yeah, just Justice League Batman Suicide Squad thing, which I'm not really interested in. And oh yeah, uh, <coughs> Motor Crush. I don't know what that's about yet. I didn't look at it too much yet. And the Marvel one, Inhumans vs. X Men. Don't care. And there's Guardians on the back. All right, that's it. That's all. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, thanks very much for watching, as always, and see ya.